hey what's going on guys King Draken here and in this video I'm just gonna be testing uh, the mercenary build once again because a lot of people have been saying that they've tried it and it doesn't work for them or maybe they're saying it does not work altogether and I figured I'd go ahead and give it another try and try to post the results of that here on YouTube however in doing so in trying this build again I was able to get uh, several uh, I was able to do several things that I've done before uh, but um, never really got on video and one is a double rage which I'm gonna do in this particular battle right here it's two rages in a row as you can as you see right now he's gonna try to take my rage with uh, that skill but I'm already raging so I use the chairman fury and hit him upside his head with that <laughs> and then he tries to heal but I'm raging again because of the chairman fury and the damage it did on my rage so that's the bug that I've been talking about with the chairman fury and the developers really need to fix that because two rages in a row is just overpowered in this game the game is already overpowered with all these new cores and um, no requirements on weapons you know so with double rage on a mercenary <laughs> you know it's just impossible to stop so uh, hopefully this will serve as video evidence you know if the staff needs you know that maybe they cannot achieve it in their testing servers or whatever but uh, if they need to see it in action then there you go you know uh, it needs to be fixed um, but for the rest of this I'm just gonna be getting wins and a couple losses uh, apparently um, one user uh, believe it was dragger uh, he mentioned that he got only 10 wins and 2 losses uh, well that was his ratio using this build and that is exactly what I got uh, when testing this time although the first time when I did test the build I was able to get 20 wins and only 1 loss uh, for this time around when I'm recording I only got 10 wins and 2 losses and what I've come to realize is that since it's since I'm using an energy uh, primary, you know, and the majority of my powerful attacks are energy attacks, uh, the weakness for this build is actually a uh, cyber hunter with a very high, well, not even very high, but you know, moderate technology, you know, with all his. Um, all his armor points on resistance as well as max energy shield or whatever it's called hybrid armor energy shield I don't remember um, but yeah it I could be wrong on both of those <laughs> um, yeah man it's uh, that that's the weakness for this build that I've noticed the mages they're okay if they play wisely like this guy could have beaten me if he had tried to stun me you know um, which is what most mages do uh, in order to beat me is that they would mouth and then stun me sometimes they'd stun with the critical and then they'd use the um, uh, plasma bolt you know and game would be over um, other than that they could have high health and just survive long enough to take me out with their gun or ox or whatever they use you know um, but what I've another thing that I've noticed is the um, strength mercies sometimes it's best to go with a high dexterity build and use the uh, I forgot what that skill is called but it's the mercenary skill that gives you strength I totally forgot what it's called something like blood commander uh, but anyways um, I faced off with this one guy you're gonna see pretty soon um, uh, he did have that type of build high dexterity and the blood commander uh, I'll just call it that for now until I'm corrected and uh, the his strategy was pretty damn good you know I ended up losing that battle easily because I got blocked 
on I think it was my double strike that got blocked uh, it'll come up in a second but as you can see battles like those that I just had with that guy Mr. Naruto that ended fairly quickly um, and most people would expect uh, guys like him to win but against a build like this just not gonna happen and this guy I demolished him flawless victory <laughs> oh man felt sorry for him but hey what can you do game's broken man anyways uh, this was another easy battle level 30 um, you know sometimes level 30s can be a threat to you if they're using the right build and if they get lucky obviously but the majority of the time they're just gonna be demolished period and I'm really hoping that the staff really you know tries to fix these problems in the game these obvious problems in the game you know um, I recently made a suggestion on the forum uh, for a new core passive core that allows the user to get a 25% chance to reflect the active uh, core effect of their opponent back to them so if I were to use chairman fury on my opponent that has that passive core um, and it takes effect then the effect of the chairman fury will be reflected on me and I would lose a percentage of my rage so and he would gain that percentage so um, I'm hoping that they do something like that to kind of limit the whole um, aspect of you know people being overpowered because of their active cores you know because with the Chairman Fury uh, core and that um, that other core that look like asteroids falling falling from the sky, um, with those two combos, a lot of strength builds, you know, just go on rampages, you know, and it's very difficult to stop them because you cannot block those. So if such an idea, if such a passive core were implemented, then that would be a, a very good counter to the overpowered bills that we're seeing so far and this is a guy I mentioned earlier who had the um, blood commander and the high dexterity build a very good tactic you know um, although it does require luck because a lot of times he may not get that block 